So if you have a vehicle and the brake pedal sinks all the way to the floor, I thought I'd go over five of the main causes of this and how you might be able to go about fixing it. And so what are the five main causes of this? Well, number one, could be low on brake fluid. Number two, could be a brake fluid leak. Number three, there could be air in the brake lines. Number four, there could be a failed brake booster. And number five, there could be a failed master cylinder. And so the first thing to do if this happens to you is to go check the brake fluid and be sure it's at the correct level. And every vehicle is a little bit different on how you go about checking it, but there's usually like a max line or a minimum line or something like this. Sometimes it's on the little dipstick itself that'll tell you the level, but it's usually pretty easy. You just go and check it and be sure it's at the correct level. If it is low, then the top of the cap will tell you what kind of brake fluid it uses. It'll use like DOT3 or DOT4, whatever it's rated for, that's what you want to put back in there. But first thing to do is go check and be sure that the brake fluid is at the correct level. If it is low, it might just have been a little bit low and just need some added and the problem might be okay, but you will want to make sure that there's no leaks. So go around the car and be sure that there's no puddles underneath it. And if possible, go around and check the brake lines that go around to each tire to the calipers and examine them for any leaks, like any moisture on them, if they look wet or anything like this. Usually the brake fluid will leak out and drip down on the ground, but sometimes it just gets really wet inside of that area. It really can vary. But the next thing to do would be to go around and examine all these brake lines going all the way up to the master cylinder and be sure that there's no leak. And so if you've done that, you check the brake fluid and that's good. There's no leaks or anything like that. Then the next thing that can cause this problem is, is that there might be air inside the brake lines. And the only way that you can fix this is that each caliper and each tire is going to need to be bled. And the way this is usually done is that you usually have two people. One person will be inside the car to pump up the brake pedal and then they'll hold it and another person will go around to each caliper at each tire and there'll be a bleeder valve and they open it for like to a second then they close it and then the person in the vehicle will pump up the brakes again and then they do that again on each caliper located at each tire until the air is all out of the lines. There's also some one-man bleeder kits that you can get and do this if you don't have anybody to help you. But that would be the next thing to go and check for is that you got any air inside the brake lines because any air inside the brake lines, the brake lines are not going to work properly and you'll need to get that out. And so if you've gone around, you've done all that and you're still having this issue, then the next thing that you'll need to check is going to be the brake booster. And the brake booster is going to be a round component that's located right up against the firewall and it'll have the master cylinder bolted to it. And these brake boosters work off a of vacuum. So the first thing you want to check on these is that this vacuum line is connected. If the vacuum line is not connected, the brakes will still work, but they'll just be really hard to push. So if you do have brakes that are just really hard to push, you'll definitely want to check out that vacuum line or this brake booster. But that's the first thing to go and check is going to be that this vacuum line is all connected with no leaks or anything like that. And a really common method to test these brake boosters is what you do is that with the engine off, you pump up the brake pedal a bunch of times, like seven, eight times, and then you hold it. And then you start the engine. And when the engine starts, starts the brake pedal should move down like half an inch or an inch or something like that it should go towards the floor if the brake pedal doesn't move when you do that if it doesn't move towards the floor then it's often a symptom that that brake booster is failing and so if you check all that and that's all good then the last thing to go and check is going to be the master cylinder itself and these can have different symptoms when they fail but quite commonly when these fail the brake fluid will be really super black and dirty so if you look inside of there and that brake fluid is really super dark and dirty then that's often a symptom that this master cylinder has failed and needs to be replaced quite commonly when the master cylinder fails the brake pedal will be soft and mushy and things like this they can have different symptoms so they can vary a little bit but that would be the last thing to go and check after you checked everything else is that the master cylinder may have just failed and so that's basically it i just want to go over five of the main things that can cause a brake pedal to sink all the way to the floor if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day